Now let me discuss about the enzyme inhibition. Right, let me discuss about the enzyme inhibition. Now if you take this enzyme inhibition, remember I have said you the drugs may act by inhibiting the enzymes competitively or non-competitively. Right, drugs they may act by inhibiting the enzymes. Right, they act by inhibiting the enzymes either competitively or non competitively all right or non competitively now let me talk about the competitive inhibition first Right, let me talk about the competitive inhibition first. Now, important points about this type of enzyme inhibition is, first let me tell you the example. Some of the examples of the drugs which will undergo competitive inhibition is your sulfonamides. Right, it is your sulfonamides. So, remember the sulfonamides, they undergo the competitive inhibition. What are the sulfonamides? Sulfonamides, they are oral hypoglycemic agents which are given in the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Okay. So, the important point here is that the drugs, right, for example, like sulfonamides, drugs should have similar structure as that of the substrate of the enzyme. Okay. So, the structure of the drug. Right, the structure of the drug should be similar to that of the substrate of the enzyme. All right, so you have an enzyme which is metabolizing the substrate, and the drug, whatever you are giving, the structure of the drug should be similar to that of the substrate of the enzyme. Now you see how the drugs will inhibit this enzyme. The inhibitors what they do is, now for example, this particular drug is inhibiting this enzyme. Right? Inhibitors, they bind to the active site of the enzyme. Okay? So, what the inhibitors will do is, inhibitors, they bind to the Right, they bind to the active site of the enzyme. All right, they bind to the active site of the enzyme. Now, once the inhibitor, that is the drug, once is it, once it is binding to the active site of the enzyme, the enzyme gets inhibited. Right, the enzyme gets inhibited, and thereby what will happen? The concentration of the substrate will increase. All right. Now, remember this type of inhibition is surmountable. Okay, so this type of inhibition is surmountable. Now, what do you mean by this word surmountable? Right, this type of inhibition is surmountable. That is, inhibition can be overcome by increasing the dose of the substrate. Okay, so what do you mean by the word surmountable is? That is, the inhibition, right, that is inhibition can be overcome, right, the inhibition can be overcome by increasing, right, by increasing the dose of the substrate. Right, by increasing the dose of the substrate. Alright, so you increase the dose of the substrate. 
that inhibition whatever is there it gets reverted right why because in such case once the dose of the substrate is increased what the substrate will do is the substrate will go and replace the inhibitor at the active site of the enzyme all right so remember in this competitive inhibition it results in the increase of km but does not affect the vmax i'll tell you what is this so in this type of inhibition it results in right it results in increase in km but does not affect right does not affect the vmax now let me tell you what do you mean by the word km and what do you mean by the word vmax so remember in your competitive inhibition it results in increase in the km what does this km stands for km it stands for what is called as michaelis menten constant right michaelis menten constant that is what is your km so it results in increase in the km but does not affect the vmax now what exactly is the km is it is the concentration of the substrate when reaction reaches half of the vmax right when the reaction has reached the half of the vmax what is the concentration of your substrate is what is your km now what is vmax vmax is nothing but the rate of reaction all right so in competitive inhibition remember the km it increases but it does not affect the vmax now so in competitive inhibition what did we discuss if the dosage of the substrate increases then the inhibition it becomes reversed right the inhibition it becomes reversed so now what do you mean by the word competitive the word competitive means to this particular enzyme the inhibitor that is the drug is competing for the enzyme and even the substrate is also competing for the enzyme now if the inhibitor comes and binds with the active site of the enzyme and inhibits the enzyme and at the same time if you are increasing the concentration of the substrate then the inhibition can be reversed that is what is called as competitive inhibition now whereas now you take in another clinical scenario like we have what is called as irreversible competitive inhibition right irreversible competitive inhibition right irreversible competitive inhibition now let me tell you what do you mean by irreversible competitive inhibition now for example if the drug it binds very strongly right that is the inhibitor it is binding very strongly to the active site so that it cannot be displaced even by large concentration of the substrate it can result in what is called as irreversible competitive inhibition right let me revise again what do you mean by irreversible competitive inhibition in irreversible competitive inhibition remember the drug it binds to the active site all right it binds to the active site very strongly so that right so that this particular drug cannot be displaced right drug cannot be displaced right drug cannot be displaced even right even large concentration of right even large concentration of the substrate and this is what is called as irreversible competitive inhibition now what do you mean by reversible competitive inhibition if the dosage of the drug is if the dosage of the substrate is increased then that inhibition will be reversed that competitive inhibition will be reversed that is called as reversible competitive inhibition
whereas in irreversible competitive inhibition the drug binds to the active site very strongly and the drug cannot be displaced by the large concentration of the substrate and that is what is called as irreversible competitive inhibition all right now let me shortly revise here in case of enzyme inhibition the drugs they inhibit the enzymes either competitively or non competitively you take competitive inhibition for example you take sulfonamides they do what is called as competitive inhibition so important points about this type of inhibition are drugs should have similar structure as that of the substrate of the enzyme and inhibitors bind to the active site of the enzyme and this type of inhibition is surmountable that is inhibition can be overcome by increasing the dose of the substrate and it results in increase in km but not it does not affect the vmax and if the drug binds very strongly to the active site so that it cannot be displaced even by large concentration of the substrate it can result in what is called as irreversible competitive inhibition all right now now in this type of inhibition right in case of irreversible competitive inhibition the km raises that is michael is maintained constant it increases and if you take the vmax right vmax decreases okay what is vmax rate of reaction so in case of irreversible competitive inhibition the vmax it decreases the km it increases what is km it is a concentration of the substrate when reaction reaches the half of the vmax now let me discuss about the non competitive inhibition right let me discuss about the non competitive inhibition now if you take this non competitive inhibition the important points about this type of enzyme inhibition is now let me tell you an example here the drugs which will undergo the non competitive inhibition is carbonic anhydrase inhibitors right it is your carbonic anhydrase inhibitors the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors right they are the drugs which are used as diuretics right for example you take acetazolamide it is given in the treatment of glaucoma now remember these particular drugs need not have similar structure as that of the substrate of the enzyme okay so the drugs need not have similar structure right drugs need not have similar structure as that of substrate of the enzyme all right so that is one important point whereas in case of competitive inhibition what we have discussed the drug should have similar structure of the substrate of the enzyme whereas here it is not required now where does this particular drug bind remember there in case of competitive inhibition the drug was binding to the active site whereas here right whereas here the drugs bind to the different site right the drugs they bind to the different site of the enzyme and that is known as allosteric site right that is known as the allosteric site next this type of inhibition is insurmountable right insurmountable now what do you mean by the word insurmountable that is the inhibition cannot be overcome by increasing the dose of substrate okay that is inhibition cannot be overcome by increasing the concentration of the substrate whereas there what we have discussed once you increase the concentration of the substrate the inhibition it gets reversed whereas here it is not now in case of non competitive inhibition it results in decrease in the vmax that is the rate of reaction and it does not affect the km
right does not affect the KM so that is what is your non-competitive inhibition so remember the examples which undergo non-competitive inhibition is carbonic anhydrase inhibitors and these drugs need not have similar structure as that of the substrate of the enzyme and drugs bind to the different site that is allosteric site an insurmountable combination this particular drugs follow insurmountable inhibition that is inhibition does not occur in spite of increasing the concentration of the substrate and in case of non-competitive inhibition the Vmax decreases and it does not affect the KM. So this is about your competitive and as well as non-competitive inhibition.